baby. You know what else is really soft? What? Little baby raccoons. Oh, oh so little cute. babies. Yeah. Mm. Love raccoons. So cool. Little, little sweetie weeties. Yeah. Rocket really got me. <laughs> so fluffy. Yeah. Guardians 3. Oh, Many oh, tears. Oh, yeah. uh, boy. Uh, Many tears. A talking tears. raccoon I got her, Greg. I yep. know. Uh, All the feels. Human beings it. don't. Real life yeah. human yeah. beings no. don't. But I tell you what, that talking Rockets. raccoon. Wow. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's something that needed to be voiced by Bradley Cooper. Yeah. 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 It's a bit about Greg Gorey. Could have been. Should have been. Yeah, we need a famous person. Yeah. Yes, we do. Person. That's how you yes, get voice Yeah, But yeah, I'm with Raby. I cried so Thank hard. you. Thank you. Raccoon News. And Curated by CBAS. There's a reason that Menace <laughs> has been at the Iowa State Capitol protesting oh. yes. every weekend for quite some time. It's because they have declared open season on raccoon hunting. Oh. What's up with that? Oh. That is what Menace has been saying. What's yeah. up with What's that? What's up with that? <laughs> What's up with that? What led to the passage of open year-round raccoon hunting in Iowa was the following speech. All right. Mm -hmm. This is from an Iowa state senator. His name is Bill Dotzler. Hater. Yeah, a big time hater. And uh, this is this is quite a clip. So feel free to stop and start as we go through it. Okay. But uh, he's talking about how he was. He has this like van he sets up for this bicycle race. It's called Rag Bri. That's of course you all know the Register's mm -hmm. annual great bike ride across Iowa. Right. Sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah. Rag. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 So you're gonna hear him yeah. say Rag Bri. That's what he's talking about. The bike okay. race. Okay. So this is uh, Bill Dotzler talking about why he's in favor of year round raccoon hunting. And the chair recognizes the senator from Blackhawk, Senator Dotzler. Um, thank you, Senator. Sh Let's move that uh, microphone <laughs> yeah. out more, dude. Uh, like, and lot. you know what? Don't even do it gently. Do it aggressively. Mm, you know. yeah. <laughs> yep. Yank yeah. yeah, and grab. Simply, I've got a ring. Keep moving it. Yeah. Good mm. God. While you're speaking. Yeah. No problem with raccoons in town. I wish we could get rid of them in town, too. Um, you know, I have a Ragbri bus, and after Ragbri, uh, a lot of times I leave food in there, and I keep a bus locked up. And I have uh, a driver's window where it's a little slide over thing and there's a latch on it. Sir, what the hell are you Wait, talking about? So right. this idiot is in government he's and this is what he's worried about? Yeah. And by the way, this is why we love local government. Because <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. they're always short to the point. Uh, oh, wait, it's yeah. garbage. Well, I didn't have it completely latched, I guess, but it was shut. And a raccoon crawled up on the hood of my bus, hung off the mirror and got his paws his their regular hands yes. slid open. Yes, raccoons in yeah. their regular hands. Mm -hmm. Thanks for clarifying, you <laughs> jackass. It sounds like this was his fault. Yeah. yeah. Rag I left food in there and I had yeah. my window cracked. <laughs> well, don't do that. The window and got in there and had a feast inside my bus. Oh, Good. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that wasn't the worst part of the aggravation. I didn't know about it. He ate all kinds of stuff. Do you want to give us the whole list yeah. of stuff yeah. he ate? Yeah, yeah. read it and, off. And, and approximately how much of each yeah. thing he ate. But the worst part about it, the worst part of the aggravation yeah. is I had a ragbri hat from Glenwood that said it all started in Glenwood. Uh, oh. Oh. oh no. okay. Special hat. Good. We know, we know what the hat says. Yeah. Right. You know, because if you just said a hat, I don't yeah. even know what happened to this hat yet. Did the raccoon mm, tear it apart? I hope so. I hope it's ripped in pieces. Yeah. And, um... That wasn't the first rag, Bri, but the first one they called oh, rag. Oh, my oh, God. It wasn't the first one. It wasn't vintage. It was, you Listen, know, another hole. Oh, my Sp God. <laughs> Spit it out. Rag, Bri. And that raccoon defecated in my hat. Good. 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 Excellent. You Good. deserve yeah. it, you tired, gross yeah. old bore of a man. Yeah. God. Disgusting. Inflation is out of control. Piece of crap. People can't pay their rent, but you're worried about... Leaving a window cracked open and a raccoon ate your food. So let's kill you them all. Loser. Wow, it's you your told that fault. way too quickly, Menace. <laughs> oh my yeah, bad. Yeah, let's slow it down. And without yeah. grabbing your microphone. Hold on, guys. It's called Mike Technique. <laughs> what about how much do they pay? Uh, that? Boy, yeah. oh. Raccoon dude. Wow. Bicycle dork. Ooh. Wow. And that raccoon defecated in my hat. <laughs> nice. By the way, he, he goes on and Please. on. And oh. on. Save oh, that really? clip. Huh. Yeah, no, it's a good, it's a good clip. <laughs> that raccoon defecated, defecated in my hat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> raccoon news. All right, better raccoon news. This is from KETV Omaha, uh, where the Alpine Inn, big uh, like restaurant there, of course, we all know mm. that. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Mm. What makes them special at the Alpine Inn? Of course, it's... What? Well, now, you're about to tell you in this clip right here. 
An iconic Omaha restaurant is getting ready to celebrate five decades of being in business. If you've ever eaten at Alpine Inn, you know it's not just the food that attracts customers. <laughs> the fried chicken, the gizzards, the, the livers. The chicken. Chicken livers, best. They're the best. But after the sun goes down, you can toss your scraps and the critters clean the bone dry. We're welcoming the new baby raccoons eventually in the maybe the middle of June. We are hoping to go for many more years to come. Yes. Yeah, nice. So How they feed fun. the raccoons the leftovers? So what they do is they awesome. take literally chicken scraps, french fries, whatever, <laughs> okay. buy the, like, case full. They're those huge, like, uh, t- mm-hmm. aluminum t- trays. Yeah. Right, right. And just toss them on the back porch. And then- <laughs> <laughs> so- Dude, those raccoons got to be so fat. They are. Oh, they're psyched. So happy. Yeah. So menace, you go visit the Alpine Lodge. Dude, throw your all about it. And watch the raccoons eat, wow. eat, eat, That'd eat, be eat. fun. Raccoon news. Probably against health coach, but who cares? Yeah, what Health coach, mouth coach. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sadly, we have another bad raccoon story here. Oh. Yeah. This is from uh, CBC Toronto, where this 95-year-old bitch, her name is <laughs> Mary Joy Kilner. Oh. Mary Joy. Oh. Mary Joy. Another miserable person. Yeah, miserable because when a, she saw a raccoon out on her afternoon walk, she didn't like pet it and feed it and cuddle it like you're supposed to, yeah. right? <laughs> She uh, said it attacked her. Let's go to, again, the report from the CBC. All right. Suddenly, there was this animal standing right in front of me, and it suddenly jumped up on my left leg Mm -hmm. and started to bite me. Oh, my. And it it wouldn't go away, and I was was afraid. I I should have probably hit Mm -hmm. it with my walking sticks, but I didn't think of that. You know, this <laughs> nice little old lady out for a walk and suddenly yeah. attacked by this monster. <laughs> oh, okay. Monster. Monster. Right. Yeah, menace. pigs if it didn't happen, you know what I'm saying? Well, wow. no, she went to the hospital had rabies shots. No, but... whatever. <laughs> or go walk in the mall with the, the other old people. Yeah, I, I didn't know what to do. She I likes had... to be outside. All yeah. I had was my walking stick. I know, uh, I had a big weapon. I didn't think you of it. You can't trust her mind. I, I She's I, seeing things. I just look at it while it's biting me. She's 95 <laughs> years old. And I'm like, oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Probably Dead saw some bitch. elves too. Mary Joy. I had this yeah. big stick and I thought, what can I yeah. fight what's, it back with? Uh, I'll just yeah. look at I don't it. know. First it was polio, now <laughs> this. Yes. Yes. Rubella. I, I know what you can do with that stick. <laughs> oh, bitch. damn. Damn. Jeez. Better news for She's you, Menace. I tell you, Menace is going after everybody in this segment. It really is. We have a new raccoon game. Whoa. Ooh. It is called Dumpster Diver. No, oh. sweet. This was a, uh, a listener actually texted this in after we got that last raccoon <laughs> game called Raccoon Tycoon, which uh-huh. right. sucks. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, Dumpster Diver is a game mm-hmm. where you take a plastic dumpster, okay. and inside of it is hidden a raccoon. Ooh. And what you do is you put little snacks and treats in there, pizza pieces, <laughs> yeah. you know, pl- plastic versions of this. Yeah. <laughs> then you get your raccoon hand little feeler, Ooh. and you, st- you know, it's kind of like <laughs> operation, oh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. You stick it in the entrance of the dumpster, try to get the snacks and treats out, but watch <laughs> out. <laughs> The raccoon might pop out and snap at you. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. All right, so going to play around. All right, here we go. Dumpster oh, wait, diver. so I got to get the treats on top? No, no, no. So you get that flap in front of you on the just bottom? Stick the just stick the thing in the paw in there, in and yeah. out a bunch of times. You're not going to okay. get... Yeah, just kind of... No, but lower... It. Okay, this is for four-year-olds, literally. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> go bam. bam. Right. Put it back out. Put it back in. A bunch okay. of times. All right. You just want to trigger the... All right. Ooh, I got something. Get some snacks. Ooh, I got some apples. What'd you get there? Oh, I got... Oh, uh, hot dog. Uh (laughs) We got banana. Ooh, I got some cheese. Yeah. Ooh. This is the. the Got some more. Ooh, I got some milk. (laughs) More apples. Some blue blobs. Ooh, I got some fish. Is it broken? Yeah, it didn't take me nearly as long to. Oh yeah. Where's? I'm getting all the Uh, food. All them treats though. Oh yeah. Just just flap the tip a bunch of times until it pops up. (laughs) What's up, Tibbin? <laughs> Where's the raccoon? Well, already, there's no the raccoon in there. This is a trash crap game. game. He's, no, he's fl- flip it open and close. Let it close each time. It has to okay. close. To, oh, All right. that's not how I do it. <laughs> I did it. No, you see, yeah, no, your, see you're, you're just kind of... it open. Uh, oh, my God. Great. Show them how it's done. Hey! Oh, it got me! A raccoon pop got me! See, look, there he is. That was crazy. And what you do is you roll a dice and then you... Oh, look how mean he is. Oh, mm. that is an angry mm. raccoon. Because you're stealing his treats. Yeah. yeah. yeah that is a... Raccoon news. Straight up slap me. Dumpster Diver, available wherever you get games for four-year-olds. It's fun. <laughs> fun to play. <laughs> One time. Yeah, it yeah. kind of sucks. All right. <laughs> raccoon news. All right. More good in raccoon news. All right. You might have seen this. This is from McCallum in Austin. Uh, McCallum High School, I should say. All right. Where they have had the great fortune, Venice, mm-hmm. of having an invasion of raccoons. Oh, they've been blessed. Wow, great. Yeah, they've been... Uh, now they've been... <laughs> 
popping up everywhere. One died in the walls and it stank real bad. Oh, R.I.P. They, <laughs> they also had, <laughs> that happens. Yeah. They also had the fun of a raccoon just bursting through the ceiling in the middle of class. Nice. Awesome. Let's go to KXAN as they tell us a story. There are some concerns. One raccoon fell through the ceiling just feet away from a student. <laughs> it was scared. It was running around and everything. Aww. What if it bit her? What if? It had rabies. While it has caused concerns, it has also created a few laughs. It's gotten to the point where students have created a um, like fan account nice. for the raccoons. But some students say if they come face to face with a raccoon, there's only one thing to do. I'm going to run. Right. Oh, okay, oh. cool. Okay. Be a little yeah. bitch about it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I just want to pay attention to school if there is a, a constant I know, raccoon. Right? I know. Yeah. It's called learning about nature. Yes, yeah. it's called yeah. learning about nature, raccoons in school. And yeah. while we're talking about Austin, <laughs> Texas, that's where the Woody Show is proud to be aired weekday mornings mm -hmm. on All yes. 97.5. Shout out to Steve's crew out in Austin, Texas, hey. working at Uncle Elon's Giga Factory. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ernie Irv and Jeff, yeah. Local 286, Plum and Union. Hey, that's uh, what's up. Ask yeah, him where my cyber is. Where my cyber truck at? Yeah. Oh, they were just showing off the other day at the Giga Factory. Hell yeah. Oh, at the Giga Factory? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Nice. Oh, you know what's crazy is that guy's still talking. And there's a latch. <laughs> <on it. laughs> well, I didn't have it completely latched, I guess, but yeah. it was shut. News. Raccoon news. Man, this is raccoon news. And got his paws, <laughs> his, their regular hands. 